Hello everyone, this is Satya and welcome to our channel CodeChef. Today we are going to be solving the problem train or walk with the code walk fast. The difficulty level of this problem is simple and there are no such prerequisites required for this problem. So let's get started with reading the problem statement. Here it's written that Chef has all the cities on a straight line. So there is this sort of straight line and all cities are present on this straight line. There are n cities numbered from 1 to n and city i is located at coordinate xi on the x-axis. Guru wants to travel from city A to city B basically. Now he starts at time t equal to 0 and he has the following choices to travel. He can walk 1 meter in p seconds. So he can walk 1 meter in p seconds. This is uh, while walking. There is a train that travels from city C to city D for example which travels 1 meter in q seconds but this train from c to d this is basically a train let me just draw this sort of a train here there is a train that goes from city c to city d but this train departs at exactly t equal to y seconds and he can take this city uh, train uh, only at city c and he can leave the train only at city d now we need to tell guru what is the minimum time he will need to travel from city a to city b we cannot board the train after time t equal to y. So hope this part is clear. Now let's look at the sample case. Now this is given to us. These are given to us and we need to find out whether Guru can travel directly or he cannot. So the main way to solve this problem is as follows. Now if Guru decides to walk from city A to city B, what will be the time taken while walking from city A to city B? The distance between city A to city B can be computed by B minus A and if he decides to walk, the speed is P, P into P. This is the walking uh, it takes, the time take, uh, taken by him while walking. Now similarly, if we have to compare it by taking a train, what should it be? First, when can he take the train? He has to walk from city A to city C first. We need to check the condition if C minus A into P. What does this signify? C minus A into P signifies Guru decides to walk from city A to city C and he reaches the train station before time T, before time Y, sorry, before time Y where the train departs. So the only time when he can take this train is when he can walk from city A to city C and reach city C before time Y so that he can take the train. So he can take the train if this condition is satisfied. If this condition is satisfied, then the time taken for the train is, it starts at y, time equal to y seconds. Then what happens is, the distance between the city is d minus c into q, because the train travels at q, as is written here, one meter in q seconds. So d minus c into q, but he reached city d now. His goal is to reach city b. So then what we need to do is we need to also walk from city D back to city B and multiply that with P. So this is the time taken. This is the time taken if he decides to take the train and if it's possible to take the train, yeah, meaning that he reached the city station uh, C before time Y, enabling him to take the train to station D. And once he gets off at station D, again he walks back to station B. So this is the condition there. He starts at time y, then d minus c is a difference between cities d and c, then into q because a train travels at this, uh, you know, 1 meter in q seconds, and then plus d minus b into p because he has to walk back from city d to city b. So this is the time taken by the train. If he decides to walk directly from city a to city b, the difference between the cities is b minus a, and we need to multiply it with p. So what the approach for this problem will be is, we need to take the time taken while walking. We need to take the take into consideration the time taken if he uses the train. And we also need to check if it's possible to use the train or not. Walking is anyway possible. So walking is very possible because he just needs to be minus A into P. This is possible in all conditions. But to take the train, first we need to check if it's possible. What is this possible condition? As we just saw, from city A, he needs to reach city C. Because the train departs from city C. 
and then into p which is walking speed and we need to check if this is less than equal to y this is the possible condition if this condition is possible then he comes down and it is possible to take the train and then we find the time taken take the train which is y plus what we just found out d minus c into q plus now he reached city uh, you know city d after all this now from city d his destination is not city d his destination is city b he has to walk back from station d to station b and walking speed is p so this is the whole time it takes while uh, taking the train if it's possible this is the time taken while walking so we need to find out which is faster and how do we find out which is faster we can just check which is the minimum between these two to find which is the faster where, where he reaches the destination b faster or before the previous one if walking is faster we choose walking if the train is faster we take the train now for this particular case i suggest you pause the video and find out using these two conditions given here for this particular case the output will be that walking is faster and it takes six so we'll discuss this further while we write the code but hope this part is clear about when he'll walk, why he'll take the train, why he needs to walk back from station D to station B. Hope this part is clear. Now let us look at the code for the approach that we have just discussed now. As per the input, it is given here that uh, if we scroll little above, it's given here that first line contains eight space separated integers n, a, b, c, d, p, q, y. And the second line contains n space separated integers with the location, which means for the ith integer representing xi for the cities. Now that is why we have taken the input as n, a, b, c, d, p, q, y. Now for this particular sample case that we told that we will discuss while writing the code, this was the sample case. And if you look at this condition, p, q and y are the last three integers that we input. p is equal to 3, q is equal to 2 and y equal to 4. So I've just written that here. Now location to make it simpler, I've just transformed the locations like this, location of a equal to 1. Now you might ask, how is the location of a equal to 1? It is because the a city is actually uh, casted with the integer 1. Now if you look at the value in this array at location 1, it is 1. This means that location of a is 1. Now you might ask, what is the location of b? b is actually city 3. So the location of city 3 is nothing but value 3. That is why location of b is 3. Now you might ask what is the value of uh, what is the location of city C. City C is assigned number 2. Value at number 2 is 2 itself. So location of city C is 2. These are all the XI locations. Now you might ask what for city D. City D is assigned with number 4. The value at number 4 is value 4 itself. So location D is 4. So hope this part is clear. Now given this information, I want you to figure out if Jeff decides to walk from city A to city B, what will be uh, the time taken in that case? In that case, it will be B minus A is basically 2. And 2 into his walking. So remember P. Location B minus location A into P. Which is 3 minus 1, 2 into 3, which is 6. While walking, he will take 6 units of time. Otherwise, let's see that is it possible for him to take the train. If it's possible for him to take the train, he needs to walk from station A or city A to city C. So how will you walk that? Location of city C is 2, location of city A is 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 into 3. So is this, he will take 3 units of time to reach loca uh, location C from location A. How do I do this? Location C minus location A into P. So 2 minus 1 uh, is 1. 1 into 3 is 3. So he will take 3, sorry, 3 units of time to reach location C from location A. So is this 3 lesser than equal to Y? Our Y is 4. 3 is lesser than equal to 4 which means that it is possible for Chef to take the train. Now if Chef takes the train, if it's possible, we know now it's possible because 3 is lesser than equal to 4. If Chef decides to take the train, what will be the time units taken for him to reach the destination? We know that the train departs at, uh, uh, at time Y and then we know that this train what it will do is it will basically reach location D from location C that's all the train does and now we know that the associated with the train it is Q now we have reached location D from location C then we need to figure out uh, how will we reach back to location B from location D for this purpose what we will do is we will do location D minus location B and he needs to walk back 
he got onto the train at station C and he got off at station D. Now from station D to station B, he needs to get back by walking. So this is the, you know, this is the relation. Let us look at how much time it takes. Y value is 4. What is location D? Location D is nothing but 4. What is location C? Location C is nothing but 2 here. Now into Q. What is the value of Q here? Q value is 2. Plus, now what is the value of location D? 4. What is the value of location B now? Location B is 3. Into walking time. What is the walking uh, associated thing? 3. So this will be nothing but 4 plus uh, 2 into 2 is 4 plus 1 into 3 is 3. This is nothing but 11. So what happens is if he decides to take the train, it took him 11 units of time. While if he directly walks from uh, station A to station B, it took 6 units of time. So in this particular example for the sample case, it is better if he directly walks, if Guru directly walks from station A to station B. So we do the exact same thing that I described now. We input all the locations and then we check the walking, how much time it takes for walking. This is basically the absolute value of uh, location B minus location A into P. Now we don't know for sure that location B is always greater than location A. So just uh, to, you know, just to be sure I added an absolute condition here. And now this is the walking distance that we saw exactly now. In this particular case, what will be walking time? It will be absolute of location B, which is 3. It will, I'll just write it down so that's clear. 3 minus location A is 1 into 3, which is nothing but 6 here in case of walking. We know while in case of train, it will be 11. So first I'm assigning train value to be an arbitrarily large value because in case Jeff, uh, in case uh, the person cannot even take the train, then I need an arbitrarily large value so that my default minimum value comes down to my walking value. Basically what I'm telling is when can he take the train? He can take the train only if it is possible for any person to walk from station A to station C and reach there at a time lesser than equal to y. If this is not possible, the value of train in my case will still be int max and hence when I take the minimum below, it will default to the walking distance. Just so that I don't have to separately handle it, I'm having an arbitrary large value as my train value initially. Then I'm checking, can I walk from station A to station C and reach there before the time y where the train departs? If this is possible, it means that I can take the train. Because this is possible, I'm computing the train distance is exactly what I wrote here. Y plus location D minus location C into Q plus location D minus location B into P. This basically, this second part what I have here is the time required to walk back from station D to station B, which is my destination. And this part here is the train time it takes to reach station D from station C. So finally, after doing all of this, I output the minimum of the train time and the walking time and I end it. Hope this part is clear. Hey guys, that was it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you haven't yet done this, this is a gentle reminder to hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in competitive programming and data structures, this channel is a one-stop solution for you. See you in the next video. Bye.